We're going to be passing over Article 8, so we're moving on to Article 9. Article 9. Move that the town demolish the North Hadley Hall within a two year period from the date of this town meeting. Do I have a motion? Second. It's been moved and seconded. This motion, the select board recommends it three to two, and the capital planning committee has no recommendation. And this will be talked to by the petitioners. The, the reason this uh, motion came through is a lot of people, when I was canvassing uh, North Hadley, a lot of people uh, didn't want the town to spend $3 million to rebuild that North Hadley Hall. And a lot of them said, why not knock it down? It would, never was debated back when they brought it up uh, and voted to sell it, but I would like to see some debate on this floor about just what this town really wants to do with that building. Yeah. I'm Marjorie Townsend. I live at 18 Mountain Warner Road, and I'm speaking on behalf of the historical commission appointed by the select board for the town of Hadley. I want to remind people that this building isn't just a building that the town hasn't taken care of in the last 100 years. It's a building that has stood there as an anchor of the North Hadley Historical District since it was built in 1840 without much care as an anchor of our historical importance, not only to this town, but to the whole valley. River Drive, or what we call Route 47, is the only national scenic byway designated in the state of Massachusetts. It's also designated by the state of Massachusetts as a Massachusetts scenic byway. One of the reasons they chose this road is that there are so many historic buildings on these scenic byways. We should be proud of the ones we have, and part of the Historical Commission's mission is to preserve the historic buildings. The North Hadley Village Hall is just such a building. It is for sale. Anyone who buys it will have to abide by a historic preservation restriction, which means they fix it up so it looks like it was built in 1840 and it keeps the character of the North Hadley Village intact. We have a responsibility to take care of the old things in this town as well as building new things. This was given. It, town never spent a penny to buy that. The land was given to the town by a resident. The school was given to the town by a resident. We have a responsibility to keep those things. And that's part of our education for the next generation, just as well as fire safety, just as well as being part of this voting community. We are an historic town, and we should be proud of it, and we should help to preserve it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Moderator, John Allen, uh, Middle Street. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, this body, a few years ago, voted uh, to sell North Hadley Hall. And as I understand it, and I may have misunderstood something here, as I understand it, there is an offer on the table that is still open. And it seems to me that uh, voting to demolish the building where somebody has, in good faith, made an offer and it hasn't been refused or rejected or whatever, is a little premature. I would think that if the offer submitted in good faith um, fails uh, or doesn't meet the selectman's uh, needs, then it would be appropriate to consider an article like this. So that's just, maybe the selectman can answer the question. 
Should we wait until the offer is dealt with? Does anybody want to come on? Uh, so first of all, this is a non-binding vote. The uh, or, or let me say it this way, this is a non-binding article because there's no appropriation of funds and uh, one town meeting cannot tell a future town meeting what to do and the, they would have to, if we're going to demolish a building we would have to come back to you in a, at some future date to ask for funds and for a permission. So this is a non-binding article. Um, uh, with respect to the question, uh, uh, Mr. Moderator, this is a petitioned article, so the select board had no choice but to put this on the uh, warrant. Um, the select board will be addressing the offer that's been made for the property at a meeting coming up. Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. Um, you answered some of the questions, but I was under the impression also that there was an, a bona fide offer on this building. So now someone's saying, oh yeah, I'll buy it. And now the town's saying, well, we don't want you to buy it. You know, we got to get our ducks in a row and make, you know, do something with it. I agree with the previous speaker who said that just because it's old, we just voted on to honor our older people, of which I might be one, but I'm not going to say. Um, so why don't we honor the, our older buildings? The reason why that building is in the shape that it's in is we did it. The town did it. We didn't take care of it. So if you, if you have a building, if you have a piece of equipment, you have property, you can't just let it go to pot. You've got to take care of it. You don't take care of it, it falls down. So I, it's too early. I think we, uh, I don't think, if this is a non binding article, let's get through it and move, move on with town meeting. Okay, Edwin, but as you spoke to it before, um, the offer that was on the table was for the entire piece of property. If it's a better benefit to the town that we put a fire station on a portion of that property and the person who's made the offer to us is then no longer interested in the property because we've gone from this to now being able to offer him this, the reason it wasn't sold was because that there was other things. This is a moving target. If we had sold it, as Terry had said earlier, for the small amount of money that was offered to us, we may have let an option go as to having a piece of property and put a fire station that this town people just voted to do. So uh, it's simple to sit out there and to say, why didn't we do this? Why don't we save this? The thing is, it's a moving target. We tried to keep our options open because we felt as though there was an opportunity there. When the Springtown meeting says, we're not gonna pay a half a million dollars for a piece of property, we had to now find another place where a fire station could go. It came before you tonight, and the taxpayers voted for that. So the bona fide offer that we had on the table was for the entire piece of property. We don't have the entire piece of property any longer, or we may, we may not after the two and a half override passes. That's why we can't simply just answer that for you tonight. We're going to talk about it later, as Mr. Nixon had said, and maybe there is an opportunity for that to be sold as a piece of property, which could be preserved in the historical aspect that everybody would like it intended for. Jean Baxter, Stockwell Road. I'd like to move that we pass over this article at this time. Seconded. Okay. I have a motion and a second to pass over this article at this time. All, um, any, it can be debated. So is there, yes. We have to, does anybody want to debate that? No? Okay, all in favor of passing over this, signal with your red card. Opposed? Articles passed over.